Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we're going to be looking at some very interesting sort of secret camp conversations and hidden dialogue where John Marston actually reveals that he wants to kill Abigail and is also a terrible father and regrets becoming a parent. So throughout the entire story, John and Abigail's relationship and Jack's relationship with both of their parents has always been a rocky one. Now, the situation has certainly not been great. I mean, constantly living outside in camps, moving from spot to spot, from state to state. You know, Jack doesn't really have a normal life, and certainly none of the Vanderlyn gang members do either. And this, of course, can lead to a lot of tension and friction. And in one of the camp conversations, John Marston literally admits that he wants to kill Abigail. Take a listen to this. Don't. None of you never go do something stupid and get yourself a woman. You hear me? Trust y'all with Uncle John on this one. And if you got one, get rid of them. Go drown them in the goddamn ocean because trust me, boys, it's you or them. You or them, they'll kill you. But they won't do you the kindness of shooting you or slitting your throat. They will slowly grind you down to dust with the nagging and the demands and the complaints. You will die the most painful death imaginable, and that's this. The slow realization that you would rather be dead than have to listen to her crap for a moment longer. And if you knew you could kill her and get away with it, you would. Trust me on that. All right. I think I'll call it a night. So, things ain't going well with Abigail then? Just stay out of it, Arthur. Okay, so that was pretty intense, right? Now, you might be wondering why John would want to do something like that. Well, he basically is fed up with Abigail constantly getting on him, uh, nagging and whining and just complaining all the time. And there's a lot of examples of this happening, but it seems as if John is just not fit for a relationship. But anyways, let's take a look at some of those examples right now. Eating you, silly man. You're a long ways from fine. Just let me rest in the sun. It's good for me. Only talking ain't so good for me. <sighs> silly little man. Whatever you say. Yes, you really should rest, John. I should have known you'd be sniffing around. <laughs> Let me know if you'd like me to peel you a grape. Not again, Abigail. Not ever. Just leave me alone, will you? You're pathetic. You're a pathetic man, John Marston. Don't I know it? Marston? Get old Arthur. How are things? Hell, I'm doing real good. All right. So that right there is John Marston's perspective on the relationship, but there's always two sides to each story. But however, Abigail sort of feels the exact same way as well. She reveals this during a camp conversation that not only is she struggling with John, but she's also struggling with Jack. If I can give you any piece of advice, any at all, don't become a mother. I ain't worth it. Worst job in all creation. Feed the boy. Raise the boy. Do any damn thing you could to protect the boy. All the time. Does a little apple of his mother's eye so much as consider the words thank you? Or express anything other than utter whore at her who birthed him? Rudeness I think I could take. It's the pity and disgust I struggle with. It breaks my heart every time it does. So don't any of you boys become mothers. Ain't worth the hassle. 
Believe me when I tell you that it ain't worth it. So now let's sort of transition to Jack. A lot of the times, Jack just wants to do something with his dad or his mom, and neither of them want to give him the time of day for the most part. Take a listen to this. Come here, Jack Morrison. Look at me. Look at me. In the eye. You been crying? Why? Why? Don't know. Listen to me. Don't waste your life worrying about people who don't care about you. You got me. You got the whole camp. So stop them tears. You hear? Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you saved my life. I don't mean to cut you off, but can we... Would you call me? I'll be a series. You be Hector. I don't read none of that Just take that stupid badge off. You swing your sword like this. Now ain't such a good time, kid. Guess it never is. Don't you say a word, Morgan. Well, that sure is a scene from an ancient tragedy, all right. Yeah, you go annoy someone else. See that? That is how you get a good point. Come on, my turn now, please. Oh, no. We don't need you getting in no more trouble. <laughs> you all right, Jack? I'm just fine. Why? No reason. Got some guts, that boy. Always said he took after his mother. <laughs> so John and Abigail's bad parenting even affects little Jack Marston. And just in general, they seem to be bad parents. Abigail is always losing Jack. John is trying to get together with other women in the gang. And there's a couple of other interesting moments as well. I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about so you have a better idea. Mighty. <laughs> but Abigail... We ain't married, you know. Off of me. You're being an idiot. <laughs> Not being an idiot. Yes. <laughs> I thought so. So what you gonna do? What do you mean? You know what I mean. Not sure I do. We both know it's coming. You keeping yourself out of trouble? I guess. I mean, ain't been eaten or shot in a while. Just shouted at and hit by Abigail. Sure. I just don't understand women, I guess. Ain't so hard. You know it. <clears throat> you ain't a fool till you start pretending to be one. What do you mean by that? You know precisely what I mean. I don't know what it is you think you're searching for, but trust me, you can reach the ends of the earth and... Realize it was right here all along. Proud to know you think of me as such a fool. If I thought you was a fool, I wouldn't bother trying to help you. The world is full of fools. Me, I'm the biggest of the lot. You... You ain't any kind of a fool, so quit acting like one. You hear me? Sure. Thank you. Mr. Pearson, have you seen Jack? Mm, no. Nobody always turns up. He's a smart kid. I hope so. Jack? Jack? Where are you, son? I'm getting real worried. Not now, Arthur. I'm sure he ain't gone far. Oh, that boy will be the death of me. He'll be around somewhere. 
So we were able to learn a lot there. I'm telling you guys, John and Abigail are not great parents. They don't seem to like each other all that much, and they're having a really hard time raising little Jack. Now, you learn so much from these camp conversations and these hidden dialogues. I've been having a lot of fun sort of diving into them to seeing if we can find out more information. So if you want me to focus on a specific character or an event coming up next, be sure to let me know in the comments down below or reach out to me on my Facebook page. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.